Please note that we will be using Google Chrome to complete this lab. Uh, even if you are using a, uh, a Macintosh or Apple device, you can actually load Google Chrome on that. Uh, you can also load it on Android devices, but again, uh, we are using Google Chrome. If you attempt to use a different browser, it will not work the same. So you do need Google Chrome to proceed. Again, if you are having uh, difficulties with this, please contact me. Also, we will be using uh, an accessory in Windows called the Windows Snipping Tool. That can be found under Windows Accessories, which is a folder. And uh, you just run that, and it looks like the uh, image on the screen here. There is an instructional video posted on Moodle for this. It's a YouTube video. Uh, it's not one that I created, but it's a pretty good video on the subject. It tells you a little more than you need uh, for this lab, but uh, you will know well enough how to use that uh, utility then uh, you will be using this snipping tool in future labs as well so be sure to watch that video unless you're already familiar with that you will be using google chrome for this and uh, go ahead and from a sign in screen create a new account for this class when you create this account, make it for yourself. And you're going to make the first name on the account kvcc.bus219. And for your last name, use your last name. As you can see in this demo, I'm using my last name. You need to use your last name. And then in the username field, it will be kvcc.bus219. and then your last name at gmail.com. Uh, enter whatever password you want to use for that. And once that's completed, uh, push the next button. Please note that we will be retaining these accounts, so when you're done with this lab, uh, do not delete the account. We'll be using it for. Uh, the next few labs as well. When you're finished with this class, of course, then you can go ahead and delete the account. And also, uh, if it asks you to save your password, uh, just go ahead and say never to that. So after hitting the next key, uh, you do not have to put a phone number in there. Uh, put anything generic for the birth date. Uh, please note that is not my actual birth date. And uh, I am just putting uh, something general for the gender as well. Again, this is a uh, completely generic account and we're only using it for this class. Once you've completed that, uh, you're going to hit the next button. At this point, you're going to scroll down to the bottom and uh, simply click the I agree for the Google privacy and terms. And if everything's working properly, you should uh, come up in your new account. Uh, that will include a Gmail and your uh, Google uh, Chrome account, which you'll be using for this class. In this next step, uh, you're going to go ahead and open your Gmail by clicking on the Gmail icon. And uh, the first thing you're going to do is compose a new email. And this is going to be going to my Gmail account. The reason it's not going to my KBCC account is for whatever reason, the server there actually uh, posts it as spam. So it's harder to find. So you're going to put professordunin at gmail.com. And you're going to put for the subject week three assignment and in the text of the email you're going to type the following 
Google account created for and you're gonna type your name please do not literally type your name here like I did that's where your name goes you're going to put push the send button and that's the first step in uh, completing your lab Now, while you're still in your email, we're going to make a few changes to the settings. So click on the three dots on the top and click settings and scroll down to the box that says appearance. Turn the show home button on and check the radio button custom website and put kvcc.edu and click the show bookmarks bar. And when you're finished, close the settings tab. Now, uh, after you've closed that tab, you can open a new tab and then click on the home icon and you should get KVCC's home page showing up on your screen. For the next step, you are going to save uh, this website in your favorites by clicking the star and clicking done. Note that it shows up in your bookmarks bar. Next, you're going to click the plus sign and it's going to default to the Google website. And you're going to save that as a favorite. In this case, you're going to be typing Google in the name and then clicking done. We are now going to add Amazon to our favorites by typing in the Google search the word Amazon and running the search on that. When the search completes, select the Amazon.com online shopping website and save that as a favorite on the bookmark bar as well by clicking the star button. Now for the next step in the, this video you will see me creating another tab and a favorite for eBay. I would like you to pick your own website by searching on it. Whatever website you want and save that as a favorite as well. Now this is where you are going to save your first uh, screen capture. Click on Kalamazoo Valley first and following the directions that you were given prior to this, start the Windows Snipping tool and click the new button and click and drag around the entire window to capture the whole screen and then let up on the mouse. Now you are not on the website, but you are seeing the snipping tool screen. You're going to click the save button and that should be saving it to your pictures folder. And please name it uh, in the following manner. First of all, you're going to type your name again. Don't literally type your name, type your actual name in there. Dash week three dash one. This is the first of three screen captures you're going to be doing. Click the save button. And once you save that, go ahead and close the snipping tool. And then you will see behind that is your actual browser window. In this next step, you're going to go ahead and first close all the windows or all the tabs except your email. Then you're going to open a new tab, which will go to Google. 
and you're going to search on something. In my example, I'm searching for the 2020 Corvette. I want you to search on something you are interested in. It can be anything. Uh, in that search, uh, go ahead and type in Google whatever your search is going to be, and please don't use 2020 Corvette, anything but that. And go ahead and run that search, and what you'll see is uh, obviously the search results and top stories and some summary information. And uh, on the top line there, you also notice that there are different types of uh, results, images, news, videos, and so forth. In this next step, you're going to capture the screen with your search results using the snipping tool the same way you did before. Uh, go ahead and capture the entire screen. And again, you are going to click the Save button and save this one as your name. Again, type your name, dash week three, dash Two. This will be the second screen capture you will be sending. For the next step, you are now going to uh, close the screen capture and click on images. And now you should get nothing but images uh, pertaining to your search. And you're going to do a screen capture on this as well. Using a snipping tool, select the entire screen again and capture it. After capturing it, go ahead again and save this one. This is going to be your name with dash week three dash three. This is the third item you're going to be sending for your lab. Go ahead and close the snipping tool again. And for the last step, you're going to click the News button and scroll down to the bottom. This is all news on your subject. And on the bottom, you'll see a button that says Create Alert. Go ahead and click that. And you're going to create an alert. And this is a news alert that will be sent to your email on a regular basis. So go ahead and take the defaults. Click the Create Alert button. And now you can see there under My Alerts, you're going to have whatever your search is. And the next thing you're going to do is go ahead and get your last screen capture. So go ahead and capture that screen using the snipping tool. Once you save that, and you're going to save it under your name, week 3-4. This is your last screen capture. Save it under that name, click the Save button, and then when you're finished with that, close the capture window. Also, close the tab for the alerts. This brings you back to your email only. Now, hopefully you have received an alert by now. If not, you may have to wait a few minutes, but it will show up. Once you get that in the email, go ahead and take a look at it and uh, scroll down and see what's in it. Now, you're going to forward that alert to the Professor Doonan Gmail account by clicking the three dots and clicking forward. And in the to section, start typing Professor Doonan. It should bring it up right away and then you can simply click on the entire name. Now, after you've entered the name, you're gonna attach the four 
screen captures that you did. Uh, click the paper clip button for attachments and go to the pictures folder. You should see all four of them there. Click and drag over those and click open. Once that's done, you should see all four of those. Show up in the attachments and click the send button. After you sent that, go ahead and click uh, the sent folder on this under where it says composed. And you should see two emails going to the Professor Doonan account. The first uh, Google account created and then the second one you just sent. Once you're finished, go ahead and close that window. This completes the instructions for uh, this lab. If you are having any difficulties with this, uh, please contact me. If you're uh, doing this in uh, Windows 8 or 10 and using Chrome, you shouldn't have any problems. But if you have a different device you're trying to do this on, uh, we should be able to get around any issues you're having.